I'm going to the moon, kind of, and I'm taking some flat earthers with me. All right, folks, today we're doing something ridiculous, but also hilarious and most importantly, scientific. You see, flat earthers love to claim that space is fake and we've never been to the moon and that everything NASA does is a giant hoax. So what if I told you we now have a golden opportunity to troll them from the lunar surface itself? Buckle up. This is the I Need More Moon Mission by TJ Cooney from the I Need More Space YouTube channel. It's a project designed to send names, photos and videos to the moon on an SD card inside an actual lunar lander. And guess what? I signed up, but not just me. I've taken the liberty of adding some names to my submission of flat earthers. That's right, I'm taking them to the moon with me, but not just them. I've recently hit 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel, DP Debunks, and that has been just ridiculous and crazy. So thank you to everybody for watching my videos, sharing the content, subscribing to the channel, and just generally being awesome. You guys are amazing. But none of that would have been possible had it not been for the way I've been welcomed into the YouTube debunking community around Flat Earth by a whole heap of much bigger, much better known YouTube debunkers. Without them, I wouldn't be here. So as a thank you, I've added some of their names to my submission as well, so they can be immortalized on the moon right alongside your old mate DP. But besides just names being added to an SD card, with each submission, you also get 10 megabytes of space for you to add images or files or basically whatever you want. And that's where the fun begins. But first, what is the deal with this mission? The original I Need More Space project sent over 12,000 names and files into space on board a Vulcan rocket carrying the Peregrine Lunar Lander. But uh, it didn't quite make it. Let's just say it took an unexpected detour straight into the South Pacific Ocean. R.I.P. But good news, the mission is getting a second chance. This time, the names and files will be carried on the Griffin lander, hitching a ride on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket set to launch in late 2025. And this time, fingers crossed, it actually makes it to the moon. So here's where I come in. I've gone ahead and submitted my name and the DP Debunks YouTube channel logo along with some of the biggest flat earth debunkers out there as a thank you, which I mentioned before. Guys like FTFE, MC Toon, Mike from The Drunk Debunk Show, Culture Cats, and a whole bunch of others that I just like. Will Duffy for organizing the final experiment. Dave McKeegan, because he's awesome and I love the work that he does, and a few more. But I didn't stop there. <laughs> oh no. You see, I've also added some well-known flat earthers. Some names that you might recognize like Flatsoids Perspective, David Weiss, Flat Earth Dave, or Dearth, they're all potentially going to become immortalized on the surface of the moon. Imagine their reaction when they find out they're literally part of a NASA-supported mission. Not going to lie, I'm quite proud of this. But it's not just their names that I've submitted. Over the last few weeks, I've created some pretty cool stuff and acquired a whole bunch of screenshots and assets and different things that I've been playing around with. And I think they deserve their time on the celestial body that is the big hunk of moon cheese that's clearly local and is its own light source. None of that is true. So we've got images of Dave Weiss professing how the bucket of KFC chicken is a better model than the globe. We've got with its normal face, so he can be all etherically displaced up there on the moon. We've got Nathan Oakley going along for the ride. Everybody's here and it's going to be a lovely time. And thank God it's just their names and images I'm taking and I don't actually have to sit on a spacecraft with them. We're going to send King Nico to space. His little YouTube bio screenshot thingy, because I think that's pretty funny. And also, of course, the top left 2025 award voting is coming up very soon. And I am team captain for King Nico. So, of course, I'm sending my voting recommendation, King Nuko for top left 2025. That is going to the freaking moon. And then Witsit the Platypus goes to the moon, an upcoming episode, if I can be bothered making it. But there you are. Witsit the Platypus is off to the moon. Hopefully, he doesn't get too etherically displaced and he can recharge like a ferrocell magnet. Why the hell not? If you're going to the moon, you might as well go in style. 
as we've mentioned, Flat Earth has always claimed that NASA fakes everything, that the moon landing was a hoax, that nothing ever actually goes to space. So just imagine their faces when they realize that a rocket built by SpaceX is carrying their names, their likeness, stuff that they've said to a place that they insist doesn't exist and is impossible. This is some next level irony. And when I say level, pun absolutely intended. But beyond the trolling and obviously the joke, this mission is actually really, really cool. It gives regular people a chance to have their names and digital content sent to the freaking moon where it could last for decades, if not centuries. This is a really fun way to engage people in space exploration and prove yet again that yes, space is very, very real. And the best part, you can join in too. If you want to send your own name, a message or even your own flat earth debunking memes or baby pictures, whatever you want to the moon, you can go to ineedmoremoon.com and upload up to 10 megabytes of files absolutely free. This mission's already paid for. It doesn't cost you a cent. And TJ Cooney, out of the goodness of his heart, is making this available to everyone, which I think is fantastic. But you have to be quick. The deadline is coming up fast. And all submissions need to be sent in by March 3rd. And there is a timer or a countdown on the website so you can keep track of it. I recommend you get in ASAP. So if you've ever wanted to have a permanent presence on the moon, this is your chance. And if you're a flat earther, congratulations. You are officially part of a real life space mission, whether you like it or not. I cannot wait to see how all this plays out. For now, let's just sit back and enjoy the poetic justice of it all. Glorious. I'm very excited, folks. Thank you for watching and for all of your support over the last four weeks. I'm here because you guys have been here and it is awesome. So again, sincerely, thank you. And thank you to all of the creators who have given me a shout out, played my stuff, had me on their streams or shows or whatever. It's been unreal and I love you all. And if you like this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do all the YouTube things. I have to say that for some reason, apparently it's the law. Plus my NASA handlers always insist on it. But let me know in the comments what you would send to the moon if you had the chance. And don't forget, you actually do. Get over to ineedmoremoon.com and be a part of this awesome opportunity. It is so amazing until next time i shall see you next time be good and if you can't be good don't get caught bye